When people think of where to find one of the world's most desirable and rarest culinary gems, truffles, Australia probably doesn't spring to mind. But since the fungi was introduced to the country just a few decades ago, it's boomed. And Australia has become the fourth largest producer of black truffles in the world, after France, Italy and Spain. Like many industries, though, there have been challenges to overcome during the pandemic. But despite this, the Australian truffle market looks set to continue growing, as Jade Barker has been finding out. This highly trained dog has expensive taste. She's sniffing for the elusive Perigord truffle. Good girl. Nicknamed Black Gold, the fungi are one of the most sought after and expensive ingredients on the planet. How much would uh, something like this set you back right now? Retail price in Australia and overseas in Australian dollars between two and two and a half thousand dollars a kilogram. Part of what makes it so pricey is its rarity. Truffles can be difficult to farm and how they're produced is shrouded in secrecy. But under these oak and hazelnut trees in the remote region of Manjimup in Western Australia, the so-called diamonds of the dirt are plentiful. The Manjimup region uh, produces 90% of Australia's truffle production. And what is uh, very particular about Manjimup, uh, the number of truffles per hectare generated, it's the highest in the world, uh, not just in Australia. The area's Mediterranean climate and soil type have proved to be great conditions for growing perigords. The first truffles were harvested in Manjimup in 2003. By 2019, Western Australian producers exported an estimated 10 tonnes, according to government data. That harvest was valued at more than six million US dollars. While the soil here may be rich with these, the majority of the crop ends up on plates overseas. More than 80% of what's harvested in this region is exported, according to the Australian Truffle Growers Association. This heavy reliance on the export market has meant the pandemic has presented particular challenges for truffle growers. And those difficulties have been worsened by the short shelf life of the delicacy. Airlines closed down the majority of their international routes and they're critical to us getting our product from our farm within 48 hours onto the table of a restaurant anywhere around the world. And the second uh, impact was the fact that those restaurants that we were trying to get them to were by and large closed. So demand dropped off dramatically. Despite these pandemic related setbacks, the industry here looks set to continue growing. The founders of Oak Valley Truffle, the largest trifferee in the area, say they haven't been able to keep up with demand even as their production grows. They're anticipating their haul this year to be in excess of 10 tonnes and expect this to increase by up to 50% in the coming years as more of their trees begin to produce truffles. It's a growth trajectory that's expected to be mirrored across the region. I'm say in the next five to ten years we would expect to see that doubling, possibly tripling of the, of the industry. And that's through, a lot of that's just through natural growth. There are some younger trufferies starting to come online now and so we'll see, continue to see some, in, some increase in production. Industry insiders say the seasonality of the crop is also helping to drive growth. Black perigolds are harvested in autumn and winter, which in Australia runs from June to September. That's the opposite to Europe and the US, which are the biggest markets for the delicacy. With Australian truffles becoming more recognised around the world, the industry here is poised to continue mushrooming. Jade Barker, TRT World, Manjimup, Australia.